Hey, it's Scott Brown with a P10 review of the new Maxisys Ultra and the new VCMI. Now, this thing is a beast. It's a very powerful processor, 2.3 gigahertz. It's huge, 12.9 inch display, high resolution, 2732 by 2048. Uh, it has four gigabytes of RAM. Uh, it's a very nice form factor. It has a 16 megapixel camera on the back side, and on the front side, it's got a five megapixel camera. Uh, and it weighs just under five pounds, but uh, very nice. Uh, it's got a nice little kickstand, uh, fully adjustable, so you can set that up. Uh, the VCMI here is a, this is a big dude as well, but it has a built-in four-channel oscilloscope. It has a volt ohm meter with a diode tester up here. And what's really cool about this is it's also a J2534 uh, flash uh, compliant interface. All right, the cool thing about the scope is that it's completely wireless. So the VCMI, once you've got it connected via Wi-Fi, you can pick the tool up and walk it around the shop. Uh, the, the setup for the scope is pretty intuitive. Uh, so you, here you can change your, your time for division. Kind of zoom in. Uh, I've got uh, the trigger set up there on a uh, negative slope. You can just click here on the menu. We can change it to the rising rising edge. Uh, I can move it up on the on the spike there. If I want to zoom in a little bit further, I'm going to change that down to one millisecond per division. Now another really nice function is the network diagnostic tool. And you can connect this to the device two different ways. You can connect it via Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. You'll need to connect it via Wi-Fi if you're going to utilize the uh, CAN bus diagnostics. And it's pretty impressive, as you can see. Now the other really impressive thing here is the network topology. The really cool part here is that it's identifying which modules are on what type of network, whether it's on medium speed CAN, uh, high speed CAN, etc. It's very, very useful. It will then show you which uh, modules actually have DTCs and you can enter right into those modules from there. Anyhow, that's a review of the Maxisys Ultra. If you have any questions or comments, just leave them below and Thanks for watching.